Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Allison Cruz and coming at you live from the top of a pile of trash here in Point Lookout. It's more Fallout 3. I was about to say Bioshock Infinite since I just got done recording an hour and a half of that, but no. This is uh, something almost far superior. I think people might argue. Both <laughs> kind of run along the same veins of things. But last time, apparently we did some business pertaining to uh, a velvet curtain being unveiled. And it turns out that the way that we completed the mission was the intended uh, sort of ending. We don't get any sort of resolution from it other than, you know, escaping death from the spy bunker. Because we were posing as a Chinese operative for some reason, and uh, under the guise of a man named Yang, uh, we we did a thing. We destroyed a submarine. But now it's time to, for whatever reason, check out some soil surveys. And I'm not entirely sure what the purpose of this is, other than maybe getting some good stuff. But uh, we can probably give it a shot, I suppose. So the next thing we need to do... Ooh, there's a muck hole. Ugh, I don't want to go in there. It's filled with radiation and grossness. Ooh, okay. Well, we got a tape. We also got a footlocker. Uh, biogas canisters. Interesting. Those sound and seem very valuable. I will take all of it. You don't got any uh, right away. No right away. Damn. Uh, is there nothing else in here? Yeah, it doesn't look like it. All right, well, maybe... What the hell? How do I get up there? Oh! I just take this ladder that's fallen down. All right, perfect. Uh, so let's go. Let's go ahead north slash northwest. Uh, I don't even remember who gave us this quest to be completely honest, but I have a feeling we're probably gonna get in a little bit of trouble if we're not too careful. So there's like a little playground over here. We already saw that, right? Okay. No need to explore. There are plenty of other things to find out here. More empty triangles. And, uh, my doze is doing the thing where it's, like, all stuffy now that I've started talking after not having spoken for, like, 15 minutes. But for that, I apologize. It probably just sounds normal to you. But, uh, I went and edited some of the footage I recorded yesterday. And it turns out, I think I'm gonna probably do something a little bit different as far as the uploads are concerned. Because in the past, I would usually update the series maybe once or twice a week with, you know, 30 to 40 minute parts. But, for the sake of consistency and maybe, you know, uh, just getting it the hell over with, I was thinking we could probably just go through and do more. God damn it. No, don't drink. Don't drink the water. Don't drink it. <laughs> uh, we will do shorter episodes on a more consistent basis. I'm not entirely sure what you would prefer. Um... Because, you know, I like having something to tune into every day. And if, you know, I only see something twice a week, I'm less likely to really see it. But, um, yeah, I think that's how we're going to proceed on forward with this. Just to make it a little easier on me to record and kind of lessen the burden. Because, ironically, you know, making more episodes <laughs> is easier for me. Alright, down to the muck hole again. Because why not? And uh, we will be okay for another one of these. Hello, radiation. Hi. Ra radiation suit. Yeah. Okay, this is good. I do want this. Okay. Uh, that means we have to take off our pipe sl slasher hat. Damn it. All right. We'll, we'll go and wear that. And didn't we used to have one of these that was like really good, like advanced radiation suit or something? Or am I again thinking of uh, <laughs> like Subnautica, you know? Hmm. All right, well, nothing of interest here. No right away either. Huh, lots of radiation. That's bad. I stand there and I get <laughs> very irradiated. All right, I'm leaving. I should probably use a right away. <laughs> one of those. Okay, and the last one's up here, so this won't be too bad. I hope this is actually worth it. I, I didn't really think that I would be spending my time here today, you know, working as a gardener of sorts, but yeah, we'll, we'll give it a shot. We'll see what comes of it. As long as we don't come across like a horde of ghouls, of the gobble ghouls will be fine. Uh, all right. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and just quickly use one of these real quick. Uh, yes, real quick. Right away. A. There we go. Uh, do I want to use rat X? Probably not. We're fine. We got the suit. We're good. Whose house is that? It's somebody's house. All right. Well, what was that? There you go, punga fruit. Just so make sure you don't accidentally drink the water. <laughs> don't drink the water. Don't go into the forest. By the way, call your dad if you're not in the cult already. 
Uh, okay, so there's two new places we can visit out here in the boonies. But I want to go over here. Ooh, there's a downed plane, a jet crash site. Another axe? Oh, don't mind if I do. Don't mind if I ask you a question. Oh, black box reporter. Uh-oh, what the? Uh, is this another mission? <laughs> Okay, let's let's take a listen while we uh while we scrounge around a little bit. Notes, black box. Aircom, we have multiple flashpoints on horizon. Come back. Air command, USN three five zero requesting landing vector. Have zero ceiling visibility and low on state. Somebody get me a landing clearance. State one plus one zero to splash. Have zero read on outer marker. This is USN three five zero. I'm blind out here. Attempting emergency landing over water. INS pinger active on distress band. Laps up, descent to eight cherubs. Three green over. Five cherubs, tree line up. Throttle easy on four lights. Prepping to pull the loud handle. Wow, okay. I don't know what that was about, but it seemed kind of scary because I think he's dead now. <laughs> Alright, I'll take some of those. A power fist. I forgot about those. It's too bad that I suck with them. <laughs> I think that's my, like, unarmed, like, hand-to-hand -hand combat is, like, the worst. Or maybe it is just unarmed. This is good, too, but it's heavy as hell. And I won't be able to carry it. Don't eat it. Ah, we're fine. <laughs> yeah, that guy. That guy was a secret agent, man. This isn't even where I'm supposed to be. But I wonder if there's more to this. Something tells me there might be. Because that was a black box. He probably had to go and defend himself until his last dying breath. Okay. So we found that. Glad we got the jet crash landing <laughs> taken care of. Uh, Alright, let's keep on going. Because there is still the matter of the soil. And I do want to check. We can see what these say. So we might as well, I guess. This is Caroline Saunders, Principal Geological Chemist for Bish National Gas Survey MD-16001. Sample set one shows promising concentration of biogas in mostly limestone substratum of wetlands. No exact levels yet, but this site should exhibit more than enough extraction potential to meet survey goals. I'm going to leave a couple of interns here to handle the minutia, but it's a formality. I'll move on to the other sites now to make sure this isn't an aberration. Consider this my authorization signature on sample site one. Okay, I don't like the looks of the Reaver here. Uh, so let's take a look and see at some of our weapons, I'm thinking. So... We have the biogas canisters. <laughs> Those might be good for us. I also use the alien disintegrators, amongst other things. Uh, let's go. Let's go. Let's, ooh, should probably try to use a nuke grenade because those guys are rough. They will wreck my business. Plasma mines probably won't be that great against them. We'll try this. Also, I don't need to irradiate this area more than it already is. All right, so we'll just try something like that. Did I get him? He's like, what the? What the hell? What is he doing? He took a part of his chest. Oh no, he's fragging out. Oh, oh a sneak attack. He's throwing something at me. That's not... Holy shite. Alright, let's get the hell out of here, I'm thinking. Uh, I should probably patch up my legs real quick. Uh, condition, limbs, yes. Alright, um... Let's try this one too. Alright, uh, I'm gonna get out of here. Do I have anything I can drink real quick? Hold on. Aid. I'm gonna get myself a blood pack. Might as well get rid of some of that weight. I'm gonna carry that weight. Alien biogel. That was pretty good. Why do I only have one? Oh, it's because I... Uh, oh, adapted biogel. I forgot about that. Shit. Jesus. Alright. Alright, just go ahead and break my arm. I just got done patching it up, but that's fine. Don't worry about it, sweetheart. Let's... Jesus Christ, I'm just gonna keep walking into his shots! God damn, this guy is wrecking me. Alright, I'm gonna get out of here, dude! Oh shit, there's your friend. This is bad. Uh, I, this is not the weapon I wanted. Oh, did he break my... Wait a minute. Did I... Do I, I still have my missile launcher equipped, don't I? I probably shouldn't. Let's see. Yeah, my missile launcher's still down there. Okay, let's get the double barrel on there. Yeah, okay. I th I was pressing that. Weird. Alright, damn D-pads. <laughs> get out of here, dude! Alright, here we go. Get out of here, man. Go away. Oh, Jesus. Alright. Oh, my God. 
What? He did the ultimate sacrifice. All right. Jesus. Are you are you done? Are you finished? Yeah, these reavers are terrifying, dude. Dude. Get out of here. I'm going to die. Jesus. All right. So not only is he heavily irradiated, uh, but he's going to frag out. Jesus. He launched that. All right. He's done. Or not. Jesus Christ. Jesus. <laughs> Were they guarding that? Please don't explode in my face. He had a butter knife on him. What the hell? All right. I'm, I'm getting out of here, dude. Jesus. That is not what I was expecting. That was really dumb. <laughs> not only did I get severely, like, radiation poisoning, but god damn, dude. All right. Uh, also, I had the wrong shotgun attached. That's dumb. Okay, so let's take a look at some of our health. Maybe I will use one of these. What is the alien epoxy? A alien squid and worm food? Why do I have so much of it? Let's use one of those. There we go. Probably use some some psycho, maybe some moonshine. That's not too bad. My charisma and strength would have gone up. There we go. All right, we're good. So, anyone else? Anyone else want to come over here and try to kick my ass? Because that would be nice. Am I crippled somewhere? Did I get re-crippled? Uh, stats. No, I'm fine. I'm happy as a pig in mud. Perfect. Yeah, they were totally guarding this. I could have probably snuck past them, though, to be honest. All right. So we got the ham radio. It's probably not going to tell us anything useful. Uh, amongst other things. Yeah, nothing. All right. Let's head down. This is probably dangerous. I forgot to irradiate also, but that's fine. Oops, that's the wrong button. All right, someone down here. What is this? Soil survey. Okay, so I should probably be listening to these. So let's listen to that second one. Let's see what that was all about. <laughs> Enter data aboard the survey vessel. What the hell is that? Uh, Oh, that's not the Ozymandias. That's really far away. <laughs> all right, well. I might do like a quick exploration of the one area that is like out here in the, in the boonies, but uh, let's listen, I guess, to some of this just to make sure that uh, we're not going to get screwed over here. Caroline Saunders speaking, principal geological chemist on Fish National Gas Survey MD 16001. Preliminary results from sample site 2 are promising. We're posting similar concentrations as in the first site. Similar biogas makeup here as well, including a few organic compounds that I'm not familiar with. We've also discovered heavy lye residue in a naturally formed chamber at this excavation site. Lucky we were wearing caustics gear to begin with, or somebody might have suffered some serious chemical burns. I'd like to analyze the site further, see if there's any connection between these compounds and the lye deposits. My tech is telling me he needs a couple of hours to work on our ventilator unit. I suppose I'll move on to Site 3 in the meantime. Further analysis is for my own curiosity anyway. This is my authorization signature on Sample Site 2. Okay, so is that where we found this radiation suit that we're wearing? Because if it is, then that would explain a lot. Uh-oh. What the hell is that? There's some. There's a bloat fly. I forgot about these guys. <laughs> Uh, all right. Well, thanks for the rat away. Probably gonna need it. There's also a Chinese assault rifle. I feel like we're we're back here on doing the uh, whole. Oh, what are these? Force lock, unlock. Yeah, this looks sketchy. Can you not hurt me, please? Also, this double barrel is probably not very good. Uh oh. Who is? Oh, they're just blowflies. Well, screw them. <laughs> You know, something tells me there's probably something in this wreckage that I want. But at the same time, it doesn't look like it. So, let's move on. I do want to see. This looks like a... Hmm, interesting. Like a cave. So, let's go ahead and at least get it activated. Sacred bog entrance? What? Okay. I guess we could probably worry about that at some point. Crispy squirrel bits. <laughs> Okay, well, I'll wait on that for the time being. You guys need to, like, go away, if you don't mind. 
I'm gonna miss, aren't I? You're dead. And your friend survived because of a giant tree. Come on. Thank you. <laughs> All right, well, that's a little suspicious. Okay, so we're done kind of exploring everything here. So let's head over to the Ozymandias while listening. What world have we tapped into? Sample site three is showing biogas concentration off the charts. Wetland substratum is surprisingly dense limestone at all excavation sites, and we've had no trouble locating naturally formed chambers. This and the dense calcite formation suggest that subterranean water flow has eroded a vast network of caves and grottos throughout the region. Mapping these will be a monumental effort and necessary to fully uncover the bounty of natural gas resources captured down here. What I don't understand is the amount of lye residue we're encountering. I'm going to try and touch base with some of my academic contacts and see if we can find any precedent for it. We'll have plenty of time to work that out, though. I've no doubt Bish will want to set up shop here and drill their little hearts out. This is Principal Geological Chemist Caroline Saunders for Bish National Gas Survey MD 16001. Consider this my authorization signature on sample site three. Far as I'm concerned, this is a prime location for biogas harvesting and a treasure trove for some field research. Hmm. Okay, well, let's enter the authorization codes. And I have no idea what this is going to really do for us. I guess access the expedition supplies? Here we go. Mission parameters. So we're literally just checking the soil samples and that's it. I don't think we need anything else, right? Error, user, shell. Hmm. Damn. Confidential. We look at survey on behalf of the Vice Company. Thank you for accepting this contract. Attempting file recovery. Huh, Saunders is a known liberal with academic ties? Uh-oh. Uh, primary mission is to prevent Saunders from discovering the link between Point Lookout's bloody past and its bio... Oh, Jesus. That's weird. Okay. This is not good. Uh, I have a feeling somebody went out for blood. Are we... I guess... I guess that's just the end of the mission. I'll take it. Ooh, advanced radiation suit. Two of them. I'll take some of those. Some of these. Some of those. Some of these. All right, I think we're good. I don't need radiation resistance more than I've already had, right? Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at some of our stuff. I might take another drink of that. Oh, no. It's only the second time I've been addicted to something. And it is advanced. It's just broken. So we'll go and repair it. Uh, I probably might... Agility is increased. Might drop some stuff here. <laughs> I don't know why I have this, but that can go. And I also have this. An axe that I can't repair. I can't have like a double axe or anything. I should probably use some of that biogas stuff. TBH. Well, we're probably fine. We're probably okay. Android components? What were those for? Ashtray? That was an accident. Get out of here. I need to go back to my house at some point. Now that I have the small guns. Medical brace. Why did I grab you? Metro tickets. Oh, you know what? It was the pre-war books that cost a lot. You took those to the library. And that person gave you like 200 caps for that. Alright. Well, I'm going to grab this again just in case. Reason for that being. Uh, I need to repair the one that I have now. I, although I don't I guess we don't really need to work too much with radiation anymore, so it doesn't matter. But there we go. I will be protected from it nonetheless. Yeah, another very odd conclusion to a mission that was just kind of left unfinished earlier. Carton of cigarettes. Expensive, no doubt. Hmm. The one's gonna be here to kill me for accessing super secret information? Apparently not. Alright. Well, Mission over. We did it. That was easy. Now we have two different things to do. Picking up the trail, I believe, is main story related, which means all we have is walking with spirits. Oh, that's straight to the bog. Wow. I just, like, I was, like, unintentional. I'm going to go to the grower shack and see what exactly is in here. Because, oh, my. Jesus. Are you guys good? Are there going to be more, like, brawlers and trawlers and... Jesus, uh oh. 
Yep. Uh, you know what? Uh, I'm gonna go this way. <laughs> Don't worry about me. Don't worry about me, sweetheart. I'll leave. I'll leave you guys alone. I'm just gonna go into your backyard and head into, uh, the sacred bog, I guess. <sighs> More wild punga. Although, I can open the burial mound. Jesus Christ, this guy was loaded. I will take the pre-war relaxed wear, though. I'll probably get away with wearing that, too. Okay. So what was it? I could wear eyeglasses. And you were, yeah, here we go. Nice, okay. So double barrel, you can go ahead and use that. There we go. All right, we're all set for whatever happens to probably kick our ass in there. <laughs> Let's watch it before my doze decides it wants to start taking over. My stupid doze. All right, this looked like a bed for a second. Clearly not. All right. To the bog entrance do we go? Oh boy. This place looks dork. Ugh. Hmm. Just gonna be on the lookout for things and make sure we don't get taken unawares. Also gotta watch out for like tripwires and stuff. Lest another small child decide he wants to kill us. Although, X. Ooh, radiated water. Should have kept on the radiation suit there, Tom. No, we're fine. We're good. Just don't drink it, all right? All right, so we are officially out of bounds, I think, as far as like the map was concerned. Oh, this is its own area. Interesting. All right, well, I guess we'll look around. If this is like story pertinent. Oh, geez. Swamp lurks, what are you doing here? I tried to crouch. Oh no, moonshine withdrawal. I shouldn't have drinking it all. Can you not, like, uh, just be here? I just, I want to do my own stuff. I want to go this way. I want to leave. Ow, what the hell? Are you, like, spitting at me? Spitting mad rhymes? How dare you. How dare you. There we go. Holy Jesus. 